Two children at a playground when their parents say a man comes up and tries to kidnap them. Thanks a lot for joining us at 6. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palolo. The terrifying situation unfolding in broad daylight at the Rotary Park playground down there in Maysville, Kentucky. WLWT News says Lindsay Stone spent the day there. She joins us now with the details that have parents questioning exactly how safe your kids are even when you're around. A five year old girl was coming down a slide at this park when her mother says a man tried to grab her. The mother grabbed onto her child and held on until that man let go. That parent said she just clenched on and went to the ground and held her child tight as she could. The girl and her mother were able to run away to a nearby gas station. They fled to the Valero and called the police. Um, while the police was dealing with that incident, we got another call that a seven year old boy was a, near that place in the park and the same subject came up to them and tried to snatch the seven year old from that family. Police say 36 year old Dustin Spaulding, who is from Amelia, tried to kidnap the seven year old boy as he was walking with his parents. Police say a tug of war ensued until Spaulding let go. You get calls of suspicious people that people think they may be watching, but nothing like this. Police say Spaulding then headed to a gas station, the same one where the mother and daughter ran for help. They were inside the store when Spaulding walked in. It seems like he might have followed the seven year old and her mother down to the Valero. Officers arrived and as they tried to take him into custody, he took off running. Officers chased him down. According to their report, Spaulding kicked and spit on an officer while at the police department and caused damage to some of the walls. Police say Spaulding told them he had done drugs and seen the girl at the playground and decided to try and take her. Just uh, know that he's in custody and hopefully won't be getting out for a while, but there's always could be someone else lurking and, and waiting, so just be on the lookout. Spaulding is expected to be in court on Monday. In Maysville, Lindsay Stone, WWT News 5. So police say Spaulding's truck was found in Aberdeen. Officers say they could see a cell phone and a camera with a long lens inside.